talking about. That wasn't scary. Speaking of things that aren't scary, Sesame Street! It was one of those shows from my childhood that, well, never quite left me. I liked it, but at the same time, I preferred other shows like Spongebob and Danny Phantom. I might end up talking about him, considering he's as obscure as me. Anyway, Sesame Street is a show that everybody knows about. But what if I told you they made a Halloween special? I will, and it's called Elmo Says Boo. He's less intimidating than me by default, so you know what? Let's play this spooky thing and see if it'll put me in the true spirit of Halloween. Elmo says boo. Well, that was underwhelming. I could find tens of thousands of clips scarier than that. So we see Elmo walking up to us to the set of a Castlevania movie that should totally happen. No. Okay, fine, you stupid shell. What do you want? Try asking again. Are, are you just gonna ignore me? No! Spooky around here, isn't it? That's a problem with these kind of shows. They stoop down to the lowest levels of human interaction. I've been feeding myself for over a decade, so put the spoon down. I mean it. Even if it has pumpkin pie on it. I hate pumpkin pie. Elmo is here to tell Mr. Cat some funny jokes. The funniest joke you can tell is that you have no eyelids! Spooky ones, too! I bet they are, int. So after nearly blinding all the three-year-olds, Elmo attempts to open a door. Hijinks ensue. Yes? Knock, knock! More like tug, tug on the string they attach to that thing. Knock, knock! Who's there? Bat! Bat who? Better open the door, Mr. Cat! Oh, no. That's the kind of humor here. I'll be looking at this all day and not laughing. Ah, Elmo, how nice to see you. Rest in peace, my dude. You're the one character in this series that I actually like. So we see the gimmick of the special, counting jokes. You think Elmo can come inside now? What, what, what even is this? Of, of course you can. I have some funny jokes to tell you too. You're really testing my love right now. So the Count and Elmo go inside. Took them a minute and a half out of 25. This really is going to take all day. I'll just cry silently so that I don't actually do it later. One thing I do have to compliment are the set designs. Anytime it isn't just a color or two plastered on the whole background, there's a set that perfectly immerses you in Halloween's devilish grip. I don't refuse it. I like it. Can I please like something for once? Gee, Mr. Cat, your, your house is very, very ooh, ooh, spooky. Get ready for my disappointment. What is a ghost's favorite dessert? Gee, Elmo doesn't know, Mr. Cat. What is a ghost's favorite dessert? Blueberry pie! Well, okay, let's just get this out of the way. What? I mean, really? Don't actually try to jump scare me, otherwise my fist will go through the team. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, a, a sentient skeleton? After Tiny Toy Stories, I don't even want to bother ranting about sentient objects. Of course it liked the joke. The joke was tickling its funny bone. I take my love back. He really just wants to annoy me. Isn't he? After experiencing total rejection, there's a bone song. I would make you listen to it, but to keep the review from being seven years long, I'll skip the songs. So after that, wait, wait, I'm not ready. Who, who are you two? Why are we in a different castle? Just stop! For some reason, there are awkward interjections where other characters show up. It makes the show have no flow whatsoever. Anyway, we cut to a totally plagiarized copy of the Mona Lisa, but with googly eyes. I've had it up to here with this! <laughs> that makes four funny jokes! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I see. They add to the joke counter. Th th that doesn't mean anything! Yeah, Shut up, is... bats! What is a ghost's favorite game? I don't know, Elmo. What is a ghost's favorite game? Hide and shriek! Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, double come on! Do not be afraid, little Elmo. That is just my famous portrait of the Countess Grona Lisa. 
Wow, it actually is a plagiarism. And I thought the Count had class. Elmo's not afraid of her. Why does Elmo talk in third person? Honestly, I want to know why. So we j see Julia, and I hope to God they didn't take inspiration from 1984. You know what? That would be interesting. A dystopian future with the cast of Sesame Street. My brain is overflowing with ideas, but I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, uh, Julia and Elmo are going to show you what it looks like when someone is afraid. Yeah. Right, and I'm going to be the someone who is afraid. You two already did that by staring into the camera for God knows how long! <laughs> Julia, that is not afraid! Please don't tell me they're just gonna do that over and over. I'm sorry, Elmo, but you made me laugh. I don't care because this beach backdrop is attacking my retinas. Okay, okay, Elmo, Elmo will try harder, okay? Okay. 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 Anticipation <laughs> much? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Elmo, but you're so, you're so cute and funny that you make me laugh. I've never believed that for one second. You almost tempted me to use ear rape, but I did not. Now, Thank me. Someone who was afraid. Yeah. Uh, Julia. Uh, she, she, she died, dude. Oh, frick! I'm done. So after that, we see balls flying around, and one is trolling the other. Well, that's something you don't see every day. Okay, good thing I don't need eardrums. So after a song about Transylvania that doesn't fit the mood at all, it cuts to <laughs> racism. Perfect! What? Knock knock! Who's there? Boo! Boo who? Please don't cry! It's just a joke! I give up! So after that painfully unfunny joke, the Mario 64 piano's brain dead half cousin starts playing away. I don't want to watch this anymore. Wait, what? I, I don't. Why are we rippling affecting? Hey, Who, who's this guy? You don't look like me. Oh, and now we are going to dive into more racism with a stupid monster song. How about... <laughs> we see this kid, but he's alone and sad. Hey, oh, that's oh, why. Yeah. The bullying Nikki undertones. <laughs> Can we just not with these topics? Yeah, okay, just tell your dumb joke and let's move on with life. Okay. What did the ghost give the monkeys to eat? Yeah, yeah. What did the ghost give the monkeys to eat? I don't know. What did the ghost give the monkeys to eat? Bananas! <laughs> oh, hey, it's Burt Lock Holmes on the case. Although I don't remember that crossover with Sherlock Holmes and Julius Caesar. Actually, this is an Egyptian tomb. Also, Ernie is tagging along, but I'm pretty sure this will end badly. No, Bert, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'd be afraid too if I saw a STATUE THAT LOOKS ALMOST EXACTLY LIKE ME! Who tapped me? <laughs> oh yeah, um, Ernie's dead. <laughs> there's no way, uh, there's no other way I can tell you this. Why don't you maybe sing a song? Yeah, that's totally gonna help. It makes a savage murder look a whole lot sweeter. <laughs> Never mind! Both will die! <laughs> I would. Hi, talking armor. Since I've seen pretty much everything, you're not imposing at all. What is the scariest thing you can have for lunch? Gee, Elmo doesn't know. What is the scariest thing you can have for lunch? Uh, Sir Cat a lot? The scariest thing you can have for lunch is... A sandwich! Do kids really like anti-humor? Is this how they're trying to kill off comedy? By making it so stiff and awkward that it leaves no impression ever? Wow, I feel like my entire reason to be has been violently stripped from my soul. One. W one. Two. Two. Three. Three! What even four. is this? Just play me a funny sound effect, and I might just keep going. Okay, that was good enough. So after some more racism, like... What does the count say at the beginning of a baseball game? 
I want to clobber these things right out of the sky! You should hear them sing! We, we just heard a stupid song! Why would I want another? Okay, if I, okay. If I skip this one, there's only a few minutes left. So let's kill this thing before I have the worst freak out in my life. All right, here, here, here it comes. What bat works for the circus? I don't know. What bat does work for a circus? Ah, oh, I love this. This is so great. Thank you for watching. Watch this. <laughs> An acrobat. Oh, <laughs> shut up! So Elmo and the Count just totally lose their minds after that. Hey, Mr. Count, here's another one. What's the first thing girls do when they ride in a car? Fasten their sheet belts. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> well funny, spooky <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Funny spooky jokes! <laughs> what is a baby girl's favorite game? Pick up food! Is it weird that I know that song? Also, it's demanding your solar blood for the sacrifice, but that's not important. <laughs> With that, the Mona Liar laughs away and the end credits roll. I'm not in the Halloween spirit. Nor am I hungry for Thanksgiving. Even Christmas is just a barrel of irritation if things don't go your way and you end up on Jimmy Kimmel. I'm holiday hammered. I just... I, I, I just made a, a... a terrible joke. No!